you. I had really high hopes to prepare a very nice speech for tonight, but I ran off the time and also I couldn't really find a topic. I was planning to drop out of the speech, but by the time I get to the computer, I find out that three people already dropped. <laughs> we were only two left, there was no way Emre will let me to withdraw my speaking for tonight. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to talk about our club, yeah. something that has been uh, very interesting in the latest weeks and I thought it would be good to just mention a few words. For those who don't know me, fellow guests and Toastmasters, I've joined this club back in October. I should say that it wasn't the first club I was the member. I also was a member of Beaverton Toastmasters Club. So I really know, knew what to expect, the usual. Preparing for the speeches and picking up roles here and there. I quickly find out that what is usual for other clubs, it's not usual for this club. This club went beyond my expectations. This club, it's so cool that Wednesdays is my favorite day of the week now. Wow. If I could, I would exchange Saturday and Sunday for Wednesday. So we would have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know what I mean. This club, it's so cool that sometimes I need to skip the meeting and stay at home just to control my excitement. <laughs> and all this, it's due to the club dynamics we have here. We are all so passionate about this club, about how it is run, then we are able to raise the fight over which laptop to use to show the agenda, which cups to use for our toasts, recycling cups or not recycling cups. We are raising the fight of which members to accept for our club. And of course, all those motions we pass. Some of them are very interesting and they raise very hyped conversations and discussions. Yeah. Others, well, when we hear them, we are as confused as hungry babies in the topless bar. We really don't know what to say. <laughs> we will think, why would we even pass this motion? But all those little things make this club really fun. There is no doubt we have smart people in this club. If they measure IQs all over the clubs, we would be on the top. Just look at James. This individual who is always cheering for everyone when someone speaks. Then we have Jamie. In his icebreaker, instead of him, he talks about technology. <laughs> and we have Gordon, our investors guru, Emre, another high-tech individual. We have really good mixture of people. And all those people and every single one of you makes this club a fun place to be. But it's not always about fun. This club is to create valuable relationships. It's about networking. It's about making friends. It's about exchanging ideas between entrepreneurs. And we make all this happen by choosing right people for this club and also by contributing our time to make this club successful. Remember that being in this club, it's not always about just delivering speeches every week. It's about ability to be able to interact with different individuals, with different personalities. Ability to interact with different opinions, different schedules. In life, we can only be successful as a team. In the business examples, it's hardly a case when single individual, single thought, is able to make it on the top. And that's what we have been creating here in our Toastmasters Club. As a team, we can make this club successful and operate as business. You need to stay open-minded, not only for the um, good of this club, well-being of this club, but also for your own personal development. So when you prepare a presentation, you come here and it doesn't work. 
Don't get angry on the Toastmasters. Simply come half an hour earlier and make sure that you know which button to press on the computer to make it work. When you don't agree with someone's idea, with someone's motion, don't prepare a speech about it, but facilitate an open discussion. Coming up here and speaking about someone's and pointing the fingers who said what, it's not only professional, but it's also not fair of expressing your feelings, expressing your opinion, without leaving a room for further negotiation. I skipped meeting two weeks ago when we had um, interaction with other board members and I heard that they were getting, receiving lots of questions about how we run this, how we run that, what is the all $50 we have in our account, and it was getting really into details. But when you want to question the members of our club, relax, sit down and think a little bit. We are all here, thank you, as volunteers, without no, no pay, devoting our time to make this club successful. So if there is something that you don't like, don't criticize, don't question it, just move your ass, and get involved to make this club successful. Yeah. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you fight for, keep in mind always that we are here for one goal, to able to exchange ideas, to able to speak, and being able to create relationships. This club means something else for every single one of you. Some of you come here to speak, others come here for fun, and some just come here to grow as a group. To summarize, I would like to tell you, quote someone, our Toastmaster, and show you how important this club is for him. The other day we had a discussion about Toastmaster Club and um, how it's run and uh, all the details, and at some point he stopped and he said, Hannah, Thank you so much for bringing me to Toastmasters. Thank you. Thank you.